All right, so this right here is a reference image which I've been using to create a number of AI generated art on my phone via the Mid Journey Discord server. So, all this is art I've been able to create using a number of reference images, and that is what I'm going to be showing you in this video. Now, in case you don't know how to set up and start using the Mid Journey AI Discord server on your Android device, then I made a video about that, and I'm going to be leaving its link in the video description or comment section so that you can first go ahead and check it out before you can actually continue watching this video. But in case you do know, then let me take you through the next steps, right? So first things first, I'm going to be adding a Discord image to my Discord server. So all you have to do is simply go to this plus icon right here. It's a plus option. So tap on it. And then here you're going to see a number of options, but I'm going to go to this option of view all. So view all, then I'm going to scroll and find an image that I want. So I'm going to be using this image right here, this smiling boy. So I'm going to send it in the chat. And as you can see right now, it's being sent into the chats on my Discord server, right? Right, so the image has been sent. And next, what you have to do is you're going to go ahead and copy its link. So tap on it. Then you go to options here. Then you go to share option. Now, depending on the phone that you're using, of course, now different devices have different ways of sharing their links. But basically, you're going to copy this link, copy the link of the image in your Discord server, right? So copy image, like right now, I've just copy this image. Okay, so after copying it, then go back, then you're going to start using this reference image. As always, if you want to use this reference image as long as you have the Mid Journey AI Discord server, you simply have to go and put on this forward slash option right here. Then they are going to bring an option of imagine, or you can type it in. So select imagine slash imagine, then they are going to tell you plonked as always. So first thing first, you're going to go ahead and paste your link. The link of the image that you want to use of course it has to be a discord link like i've shown you so paste it right here then from here you can start inputting the different commands that you want so for instance i'm going to put this command right here so i've put the image so i'm going to be like as a handsome so i want this image to be as a handsome black and white anime character then you can put a comma then you can put the quality of the image that you want, maybe 8, 8K. Then you put these DAO things right here. I don't know how they are called. Then you add a V then space 4. The reason why I'm doing this dash dash V then space 4 is because we are, we are using the fourth generation of the mid journey AI server. So you have to put this at the end simply. So after doing that, simply tap on send. Then as you can tell, they're showing you that it has started being processed. And of course, we simply have to wait for a few seconds. And we get the results right so as you can tell these are the images that have been produced as always mid journey ai is going to produce for you the, it's going to give you four variations of the image so these are the four variations of the image that have been generated of course these have been generated because of the command that i put into my mid journey ai and obviously depending on whichever command that you're going to be using that's the result that you're going to be getting you have to just imagine of something that you want then you can start using it now as you can see from under the image there is always two columns one that is having u1 u2 u3 and the other one that is having v1 v2 v3 okay so for this section that is having u1 u means upscale meaning you have to increase if you say u1 it means you're upscaling image one actually let me go ahead and upscale image let me upscale image two so you select u2 then you're going to wait for it to be processed as you can tell from the screen recording here this image is now being processed and we are upscaling the first image so let's be back when the result is ready All right so i believe the upscaling is done and this is the result that we have got after the upscaling process right so you tap on it and as you can see now this is a separate one big image so to save it you simply go to options and you're going to see an option of save right you're seeing it on the screen recording save tap on it and it's going to begin downloading so as you can tell this image is now downloading download complete and you can start using this image as whatever image you want maybe it's going to be a whatsapp profile photo or whatever you want to use it for now back to our image of course as you can see there is this second option of v2 meaning variations right so if you select v3 for instance that means you're going to this is a command that is going to help you get different variations of image 3 so i've selected v3 meaning we shall be getting different variations of image 3 so let's wait for it to be processed then we'll be back with the results all right so it's done processing and as you can tell these are now different variations of the image 3 that we selected and of course 
you can continue with the same process throughout to get one final image that you like which you can save and download start using otherwise that's it for this video i catch you in the next one peace and love